Hey everyone, welcome to Spirit Alive. We're going to go to a program today where we're going to listen to Dr. Stephen Anderson from School of Bible Theology Seminary and University of San Jacinto, California. And he'll be addressing the first and second year students and of course our staff, our faculty here at uh, Faith Life Bible School in Thunder Bay. And he'll be addressing the students, addressing them about the graduation and the significance of their graduation. And many families and friends were gathered together at that time to celebrate a victory. So we want to um, invite you to become part of our training program. It's a training for ministry, helping students and helping people to learn the Bible and become involved in ministry. So right after the program, we're going to be right back and have a few words with you. Uh, watch this now. I was elected in 2004, and my wife Debbie and I have traveled all over, and we had 45 schools at the time, now well over a thousand. And uh, you can see it on our website, transworldaccrediting.com. I'm sure there's a link from your Bible school website, but uh, it's just amazing. You just heard Dr. Hagen talk about uh, Tramp, 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 that wonderful prophecy 40 some years ago. And then his son and daughter-in-law, Kenneth and Lynette, came in and started Rhema Bible Training, uh, you know, center and then now college. And it's all over the world. When they came aboard with us several years ago, they had 130 affiliates, now well over 250. So when you look at Rhema Bible Training College alone, it's not just one school. They're all over the world, just as he spoke prophetically and you just listened to. And we have other great schools that are aboard with us. But it's so wonderful to see what God is doing in such a short amount of time. Uh, and so in the 14 years that I've been, or 15, uh, God has just done some mighty things with Trans World. I am spirit-filled, Holy Ghost man, and uh, we preach the full report of God. We don't have a lot of starchy, just mere academics. Academics is great. We have people full of the fire and full of Holy Ghost and full of the faith that it takes to move mountains. Praise God. So I say congratulations to all of you in this commencement 2019. I believe 16 graduates total. And uh, it's so good to be with you today. And I want to thank all of you uh, supporting uh, individual members and family members and, and whoever came out today to cheer us on. This is the fruit of your labors. You have invested greatly and helped some of these that are graduating make it possible to be here today. And so everything they do as they go out from here, you will have a hand in that. So we're seeing great success. And we've done it with Trans World. It's unique, the way the Holy Spirit kind of implemented in my spirit when I took over is to, we don't even have a brochure, we have no advertising, we have our website, and we have our members. Through the word of mouth and the work of the Spirit, God has brought us those who will become a part of our Trans World Accrediting Commission International Family. And it's just marvelous to witness what God is doing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And uh, I got to be here, I believe, in 2015, and when we conferred the doctorate on Dr. Roma, and uh, what a time that was, and we had everybody come up and take a picture with him. I read his book, My Name is Roma. Remember in the book, if you haven't read it, you need to get a copy, those watching online, and, uh, and where he was coming home, and he had excelled in his education, and he expected a great crowd to greet him and to show love for him. When he got here, nobody there. And I thought, you know, years later, God has brought him a wife and his two beautiful daughters, and they've done a marvelous work pioneering here, Faith City Church, 
and now the Bible school. And so when we were here five years ago, I thought, let's just bring everybody up on the stage to where they can see him surrounded. Hallelujah. And uh, Dr. Roma, you today are surrounded. It's just the beginning of the people you are surrounded by. There is an army. As a young man, when you had that expectancy in your heart to see somebody when you were coming home and no one was there, that expectation was from God, and it was for an appointed time. It, though you were disappointed then, because it didn't happen then, it is happening, and you ain't seen nothing yet, my brother. Hallelujah. Yes. I'm going to prophesy today. There's no getting around it. It's going to happen. And uh, because I just felt in my spirit, even last night when we had dinner and everything, I felt when I was driving up nothing but expectancy here today and what is, what is happening. I, in fact, when I came through the border check yesterday, I drove through and came in from Minneapolis. And uh, when I, the man asked me, do you have any tobacco or alcohol or any kind of things like this? And I said, no, I'm just here to see my good friend, Dr. Roma Fisher. You need to read his book. What a great man of God. Faith City Church. And, you know, he said, so what do you do? I said, well, I'm a preacher. <laughs> he said, okay, so since you told me you're going to see somebody, uh, next question I've got is, are you bringing any gifts for your friend? And I said, the gift of faith. Hallelujah. <laughs> He'd had enough of me and said, okay, go on, go on, go on. <laughs> How long are you going to stay? I said, just, just a couple of days. I'll be out of here. Please. Come back and visit you if you want. Hallelujah. But you know, I, it's that expectancy you feel in the air here today. And that keeps this, that's, that's what faith is all about. An expected end. It's your vehicle to an expected end. So, I just want to speak, and they told me this morning I had 20 minutes. I've already used up five. I said, well, to me, that means 40, praise God. <laughs> Double portion day. So, no, I'm not going to take that long, but I just, th there's not much I can really say as far as a sermon, but in a short address or whatever I can mention here today is I, I just heard about yesterday what we were going to be doing, what was going to happen in this place. And really, the message is going to come from these 16 graduates. I believe they're going to get up and they're going to give limited to three words. <laughs> no, no, they get to say a little more than that, but under a paragraph, not more than a sentence. And so they're going to, in a nutshell, say what the Bible school and everything means to them. That is going to be your message. That is the test of any Bible school. The real test of a educational institution is the placement record or the fruit that they bear. And that tells you what that school is all about. As you've seen from Rama Bible Training College and whose founder, the late Dr. Kenneth Hagen Sr. was just uh, spoke to us by the medium of a recording in that prophecy of what God had showed him before it even began. His fruit, the placement record of Rama, is well over 60, 70,000 graduates over 45 years of remarkable work. And that has brought you much of your faculty, Steve and Kendra Hussey and Ken and Cindy uh, Semischuk. And so uh, I tell you, and then, of course, your founders and pastors, Dr. Roma and Anita Fisher, and I guess their daughter's down there even doing more. Just that alone is done so much to reach this area of Thunder Bay, Canada, the indigenous peoples, and, and all that you're doing in that regard, but all ethnic groups around Canada are going to be reached by this place right here. You were launched from Tulsa, Oklahoma, Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, and by the way, uh, we've got a lot of Indian friends here today, then I just want to remind you something about Oklahoma. Do you know what the word Oklahoma means? Home of the red man. And, uh, and uh, so they were trying to correct everything, politically correct in the United States. 
They better leave Oklahoma alone, praise God. But from Oklahoma, then you've come here, and just as he prophesied, you're going to reach the world. And I thought, well, in my little nutshell of time today, what could I say to you here? What could I say to those of you that are watching online and around the world? Because many are watching or will watch this down the road. So whether it's to you here present, those at Rama, your alma mater, or those beginning a Bible school or thinking about it, if you are a church and uh, ministry, I want to encourage you to train your people. Any ministry that fails to train is on a train to fail. You must train people. You must equip them and send them forth to go forth and tell the story, preach the gospel, and see God's word demonstrated and people delivered and set free. Can you say amen today? And so I began to think uh, about what is happening here today. And I want you to know, when we came here five years ago, my thought was to prepare yourself. Jotham became mighty in the Old Testament because he prepared himself before the Lord is God. We are to study to show ourselves approved, our pastor said a moment ago. And it's as we study to show ourselves approved, God enables us, equips us, and we can go out and we can do mighty things. But one thing I want you to know, in the Bible, every major uh, educational arm from the, in, in the work of God had the called leader in charge of it. The apostle, the pastor, the prophet was in charge, beginning with Moses, with Samuel, with Elisha, and with Paul in the New Testament. It was the men of God. Education in the local church is not something that is tossed off to a staff to figure a way through it. It is headed up by the workers of leadership of the church in the pastoral area. And that is just the plan of God. Because it is just as much a spiritual work as an altar call or laying hands on people. The buck stops, so to speak, with the leadership and the leader needs to be in charge of what is happening. And that's what we're glad to see with our Bible schools throughout the world. So with that in mind, uh, and, but with that, you need the inspiration of the students, the alumni past and those that are presently here as students and those graduates today. I began to think about a story in 2 Kings chapter 6. I spoke a moment ago about Elisha. If you're in the Thunder Bay area, we'd like to invite you to one of our live services right here at Bay City Church in Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada. Service times are Sunday morning at 10.30 a.m. and Wednesday at 7 p.m. Pastor Roma Fisher ministers a practical word that will inspire your faith. We look forward to seeing what God has in store for you. Now, Elisha, in 2 Kings chapter 6, uh, there's a little story here. And when I was told last evening that the students are going to share, all 16 of them, something about the school, I thought, that is just wonderful. Because I began to think the voice of Faith Life Bible School is you today. It won't always be you today, but it is you today. It will be an army behind you. And it is others that have gone before you. But today... You will be the voice of this Bible school. You have been trained by a wonderful faculty, and you have been equipped. But now, though you haven't completely arrived, you're at a milestone today, and your voice will be the message that goes forth today to, hear, to peoples in this place and watching by another medium. And uh, when I considered that, I remembered the story where Elisha had seen a great miracle and uh, a man that was dying of leprosy was cleansed and marvelously healed because of the anointing upon Elisha. Let me remind you that Elisha was the prophet that had a double portion of the anointing on Elijah. And uh, with this double portion, 
he went to work. And here's one of the first things he did. In 2 Kings chapter 6, it said, And the sons of the prophets said unto Elisha, Behold now, the place where we dwell with thee is too straight for us. I'm reading in the King James Version, but other versions and commentaries will indicate too straight for us. It meant too small. It's not big enough for what you're preaching. Can you imagine a prophet with a double portion of Elijah and had just a small little place he was meeting in? And the students recognized that powerful anointing, that mighty flow of God's Spirit upon him, and they came to him and they said, where we're at, it's not going to make it. Hallelujah. We've got to have something bigger. It's wonderful, Pastor, when your students come to you and say, we want to expand with you, Pastor. Usually, it's a founder or a pastor of a ministry that says, we want to spread out. We want to grow. And you excite everybody and get them behind your vision. But here, with an anointed prophet in place, it's always the people that rise up and say, let us build. We want to grow. You don't have to uh, prod people into reaching the world and going out and doing great things where the anointing flows and where faith is preached and the word emanates by the power of the Holy Ghost setting them ablaze. And that's what is happening here. You see the excitement in the students. Verse 2 after they said this place is too small, they said, let us go. Not one person, but as an organized group in unity. Let us go, we pray thee, unto Jordan, and take thence every man a beam. Let us make a place there where we may dwell. And the prophet answered, go ye. Well, they didn't stop there. They didn't just say, no, we're not just going alone. We want you to go with us. And one person spoke up and said, be content, I pray thee, and go with thy servants. And the prophet said, I will go. Hallelujah. That's what Dr. Roma and Pastor Anita have done. They have seen your excitement to grow. This Bible school would not be possible without all of you making it possible. And now it's not just something you've backed. It's something that you are getting behind and you're pushing it. You're driving it. Your excitement, your anointing, your destiny is propelling this school to the next level. The pastor and his wife don't sit up with staff all the time wondering what we, can we do to make this grow. It's happened. It's off the launch pad. It's going into orbit. The people, the students have come and said, Pastor, let's expand. Their energy is driving this school. It's driving a revival in Christian education throughout all of the world. That's why we've gone from 45 schools to over 1,000, and you ain't seen nothing yet. I know that sounds like a country expression, but I went down to Kenneth Copeland's uh, Eagle Mountain uh, facility in Fort Worth, Texas, on May the 10th of 2018. And uh, he began a Bible school at 80 years old, uh, Kenneth Copeland Bible College. Uh, and I was there, and we helped launch his Bible school. When I was finished, he said, the honor is all ours. And he grabbed me and pulled him real close to him, shaking me. And he said, Anderson, and that Kenneth Copeland, when he puts his finger in your face, it's like a scepter of power, you know. And I'm like, whoa. And uh, he said, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> and he laughed like he did. When that prophet told me that power of God hit me, and I realized this is not just me believing something positive or having a faith confession. This thing is alive. It is happening. Thunder Bay, Ontario, get ready. Things are huge, and they're going to get bigger. You ain't seen nothing yet. Hallelujah. So it's wonderful what our God has done. And so as you students speak to us today, and you declare what's on your heart, 
I want you to listen intently to each one of them individually and all of them collectively. And take that as your message today. Take that as what God is speaking to you. Because this is the fruit. When you graduate, what you do from this day forward, that's why we call it a commencement. It's going to be you going out doing something. And then think of a time when you lead others and then they take the mantle from you and do the same thing to others as well. Just as real as that happened for your pastors, that will happen for all of you. And those of you that are with us today and you're not a part of this Bible college, going from a Bible school to a Bible college, granting degrees where you'll have uh, an ability to not only just believe in prosperity, but as you apply for work and things like that, your bachelor degree will take you places. Degrees started being given out 1,400 years before Jesus Christ by the people of Israel. Degree granting started with God's people. It's part of the kingdom. So I would encourage those of you here today, those watching online, become plugged in, become a part, become a student. You need to enroll and become a student here at Faith Life Bible College. And you, it doesn't matter what your age, come in and let God take you where you're at. You say, but I'm up in age. Well, you can be 90 and have a child in God's kingdom. <laughs> you can be 85 years old and think you're washed up. Caleb was 85 and said, give me the mountain. Hallelujah. Step out. Do something. Link arms with this Bible school and enroll. I promise you, you'll be blessed. And God will do mighty things for you today. Hallelujah. And so God bless you. Congratulations. The staff, the faculty, the congregation of Faith City Church, Faith Life Bible College, we commend you, we salute you, and say congratulations. Uh, Faith Life Bible School has given me such a great foundation on the Word of God, and I'm so glad I took the step of faith to come and complete the first year. Um, I'd just like to say Faith Life Bible School has definitely taught me the um, importance of and as well as the joy in just reading the Word of God. Um, you know, the, the Bible says that um, growth comes by, by reading and, and faith comes by hearing. So um, that's really what it's the main thing it's taught me. <laughs> faith Life Bible School has just taught me to believe more in the Word and uh, not be so afraid of it. <laughs> Bible school has taught me how to push myself to accomplish more in leaning on the Lord and also how to rely, to really study the Bible and good Christian teaching books. So I, it was really blessed. It's been an excellent year for myself and uh, I must say I've, I've learned so much uh, this past year through all the courses. There was 12 courses in total and even especially uh, with such vital courses as uh, our righteousness and believer's authority that we have as, as Christians and uh, uh, even more so I, I've learned how to apply and use God's word in my everyday life and in everyday circumstances I come across so I'm excited about this it really changes a, a person's life and I encourage people to, to register and get involved and, and uh, it's been a blessed year thank you this year has been such a blessing for me personally uh, this Bible school and uh, I asked the Lord six years ago, I want to serve you more. I, I want to dig deeper. Um, so the, the quote, uh, the Bible verse I came to my mind was, we walk by faith, not by sight. So that's just me and my wife also, the general I call her. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I, I want to thank you all for showing up today, for, uh, family and friends, miigwech. Uh, faith Life Bible School is huge. I told my sister the other day, I said, you know something? Um, you just give it one year. You give it one year, it'll change your life. I, I guarantee it one year. The leaf says, study, grow, serve. And that's exactly what will happen to you. It'll change your life. Just if you have the thought or you have a feeling like you're even considering it, just step on it. I'm telling you, it's the best thing that will happen to you. Faith Life Bible School. Um... <laughs> Well, the Word, you know, the Word and God is one. So I, I, this year, I grew in the Word, like a deeper appreciation for the Word. And I, so that really changed my relationship. It took me to a deeper relationship with the Lord. And it's just, it's 
it's amazing. It just grew, it, it made me grow on top of what I learned the first year. So it, I was trying to tell Nate, like I said to him yesterday, like you can't, I can't explain it. It's just something happened. It's something different than first year. And it's just awesome. God is good. I want to thank uh, my wife for supporting me, Pastor Steve, for encouraging me, pushing me to the limit. <laughs> and and uh, <clears throat> I want to thank uh, each one of you to, no matter where you are, if you take, um, if you take uh, um, some training on on the word, it will affect how you think, how you speak, how you look at people. And that's my encouragement to you. Just come. If I could sum up Bible school in one word, it would be confidence. I start, started off life being really shy. And um, to think four years ago, I embarked on a deeper relationship with my Lord and Savior. And uh, Matthew 6, 33 Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. And this is exactly what Bible school has done for me in the last in the two years that I've studied. And I am I just feel really confident to stand wherever God calls me to be and wherever he calls me to go, because he is faithful and he'll always be with me. And the same goes for you if you choose to study and follow his word. Miigwech. Hi, once again, hope you enjoyed our program of uh, this presentation of Faith Life Bible School training right here in Thunder Bay. If you'd like more information, you can call or write us. The information should be on the screen there. And we'd like to hear from you across this great country of ours. We want to train uh, particularly First Nations uh, ministry people for uh, excellence in ministry. And so uh, call or write us. Of course, you can, you can call our office anytime or, or uh, email us and we'd like to get information into your hands so that you can start this year coming up 2019 and 20 Bible school year and uh, we'd like to hear from you so God bless you we'll see you next time bye bye thanks for watching Spirit Alive for those in the Thunder Bay area our broadcasts are taped live at Faith City Church 360 Black Bay Road Thunder Bay Ontario Service times Wednesday at 7 p.m., Sunday at 10.30 a.m. We look forward to meeting you.